All right, guys. I've tried to record this several times and it's failed miserably every time, so let's do it again. Um, okay, so we want to go rotate that 180 degrees. This is the basic shape of the intake member. Back it on, select it, there we go. All right, so we want it to be 200. This is this, the, the plenum by 200, and we want it to be 80 tall. The program I'm using here is Tinkercad. Let's uh, zoom out a little bit and then we can center this thing up. Okay. Yeah, that looks good. Let's, um, let's try a different angle. Oh yeah, it's not centered. Okay. That's better. Now, we're going to put a little measurement to the stick because we're really going to need this. We're just going to pop it in the corner here. There we go. Now, this is, as you saw, the basic plenum. I went with a round shape to promote airflow. The tubes that come into the side of the runners are going to intersect at an angle, so I think that will flow better than if it intersected into a square box. Granted, I can make the outside of this square and the inside this shape of chamber, but I figured I'd do the whole thing this way. It looks looks better. Anyways, next up, let's do the runners. Now, we when I was out there measuring, you may have seen in the last video, the, the intake manifold is 36 centimeters end to end. Everything's done on millimeters here, so that'll be 360 but I learned that the runners are offset. So um, I measured that, they're 35 millimeters offset. So first thing we're gonna do here is create the runner. This needs to go 90 degrees, there we go. That'll, then we're going to move it up um, 10 millimeters. So 10 millimeters up in the air, and then the runners are 40 millimeters OD, 40 by 40. Um, we need to change the number of sides to 64 so it's properly around. See, if you don't make this very many, see how blocky that gets? I don't know why anybody would want, you know, less than a perfect circle. Honestly, if I could make this 256, it'd be even better. Anyways, we, since they're going to be offset, we're not going to do the full 360 like I did initially um, on my prototype. We're going to do 180, so it's 180 long. Now, we want to take this, and we're going to get dimensions of this. So it's 86. So we want the end of this at 186. Um, so that, that'll put it in the center. So this one is 180 long. So if we make this six from the edge, you see this number down here, the 29, if we, we just type in six there, and that will be centered on this. Now uh, we're going to bring this up we know that the right side is the side that's farther up, so we want the left side to be farther down. Ah, oh, come on. Let me just grab this thing. And just, there you go. I'm going to have to fix this again, make that six. And, um, okay, so 104. That looks good to me. So we're going now the that's 104 to the edge of this tube, and they're 14 centimeters apart, outer edge to outer edge. So I'm gonna hit Control C to copy, or actually Command C, because I'm on a Mac. Um, Command V, and um, now, what's the height on this thing? Is it's, it's 10, we, yeah, that's what we wanted, it was 10. Now, um, this tube was 104, so let's make this one 204. 204, bam! Now, that's to the edge, so, um, this edge is at 104 plus 40 is 144, or, you know, yeah, well, okay, 104. This one is 100, uh, 204 plus 4 would be 244, so that's the 140, 14 centimeters apart. Now, we're going to take this tube and we're going to select that tube, and nope, we want to use the shift key, select both of those. Now we're going to copy, and we're going to rotate, and we're going to go deselect everything, come on. There we go, Command V. Eh, seriously. Nope, that's the wrong. Uh, undo. Um, where's the correct? There it is. I saw it for a second there. There. 90 degrees. All right. Now we want them 10 millimeters up in the air, just like the other side. And um, it was 104, so we're going to go um, uh, 35 more, so 139. Them. There's those. We're going to bring them off to the right. Now, we did these at 6 plus 180, so we want this at a 186. Bang. Now this thing is 360 millimeters wide. Um, 
and they're offset by 35 millimeters. So this is the left bank, this is the right bank. See how easy this thing is? Now, we are going to make the inside of the chamber hollow. So we are going to go, oh, deselect. We're gonna make another one of these. Put it right here for now. I'll we'll put it right here for now. Anyways, let's rotate this 90 degrees. Come on, snap to 90, please. Oh, make, maybe type it in there, 90. All right, now, this thing is 200 by 200. We wanna make the walls, uh, let's say seven millimeters thick, or eight millimeters thick. So that'll be 184. So 184. Uh, 184. Um, is that thing upside down? Yeah, it sure is. Okay, so we're gonna rotate that. 180. There we go. Now it's right side up. And um, it's 80 tall, so we want this thing to be 64 tall. Let's make it 64 tall. Boom. There we go. Oh, we're still not in the right rotation. Now it's in the right rotation. Okay probably correct before and I screwed it up. Anyways, now we want to make this a hollow, so we're going to make hole. See how it's hollow now? Now, this one is at 96, but we want it to be 8 millimeters up. So that'll be 104, and this is at 86, so that'll be 94. So if we make this oh, oh, 104 and 94, and we also need to make it eight millimeters off the deck so that we get it inside there and poof. It is in there, we can't see it right now. We'll come back to that. Now let's make the, uh, the runners hollow. So right now we've just got, um, these are just solid. So we're gonna, we can just grab another one of these and tell it to be hollow or we can just grab this. So we'll grab this, we're gonna rotate it 90 degrees. Whoops, where did that? Now, they need to be 180 millimeters long. Oh, not that. That is the, okay, the inside diameter of this tube is 35, so 35, and this 20 is 35. Nope, that's the, that's the 180. Okay, let's make that 180. And the other, right now it's oval shaped, we're gonna make it 35, and it'll be properly round. See the sides, we need to increase that to 64 again, or it won't be round, round. Okay, now, we need to move it into place. So two and a half millimeters up will give us um, the proper wall thickness. So 104, it'll be 106.5 and six. Okay, let's, let's be six. Come on, click on it, six. And 104.1, what was that again? Let's double check that, 106.5. 106.5. Bam. And we also need to be 10 up. That's this one at zero. Um, 10 up plus two and a half, so that's 12.5. There we go. Now, control, copy. Now we're gonna duplicate that. And this one is gonna be right over here. We'll set it there and we'll uh, check our measurements. So this one is um, 40, no, 204, so 206.5. Deselect, come on, come on, deselect, deselect, there you go. So that was a 206.5, right? Yep, that's in there. And everything else is correct. Oh, that's gonna be sticking out a little bit. Oh, that's at five. That needs to be at six. There we go. So you get this kind of pattern when they're perfectly aligned. So when I tell it to carve it out, that, that part will be hollow. So what I'm gonna do is con I'm also going to select that one. Um, let's see. And I could have done this before I copied the tubes to this side, but I'll just do it this way. Control V and we'll bring them on over. Okay, so this was this needs to be 186. We'll just save some time. 186. These need to be 10 up. No, 12.5 up. And they need to be um, over here. They are at 142. So 141.5. There. 
they're centered now. So there's there's hollow runners as a hollow intake. Now we're going to put in the um, throttle body hole on the top. Um, you know, if I had more room in the bike and this were any other kind of engine, this, this thing would be a complete circle and I'd probably put the throttle body right on the end of it and maybe even extend it out some or something, something different. But because of the shape of the bike and the packaging constraints, the throttle body has to go on top. I'm just going to try and put it in the center. So, um, 204 would be centered um, and uh, 194 would be centered. And the throttle body is 40 millimeters around. So let's make a, a new hole right here. This is going to be 40 by 40. So that's round. We'll make it have enough segments. Um, I'm just going to make it 12 tall. And we're going to bring it up to um, 70 millimeters because this, this, this manifold is uh, 80 millimeters tall. So 70 up and it's 12 long. So two will stick out, which is just fine. Now we just need to bring it back. So it is measuring to the edge of this, it's 40, so 20 up. Yeah, we gotta get the center is 104, no, it's gonna be 204 minus 20 is 194. 194. And this one is 171. Oh, oh wait, no. This is 186 minus 20 is 166. 66. And technically this should be centered now. Come on. That doesn't look centered. I've done something wrong here. 176. I'll bet that's centered now. I don't know where I was screwing up on my math. Oh, come on. There we go. Yep, that's centered. All right. Now we've got to do the bolt holes. So these bolt holes are um, seven millimeter. Seven, seven. Um, we're gonna do it 12 long. We're gonna do it 70 up in here. We're gonna give that enough sides. Come on, deselect. There we go. Okay, there's our one of our bolt holes. And we're gonna take another. We're gonna, we're gonna copy that. Control V. Alright. Zoom out a little bit. <laughs> okay, this one. Mm, I'm just gonna put these centered on here. It should work out. So let's go. This. Yeah, we're gonna find that hole again. 166. Um, that was to the far edge of that, so 186 is the center. These are seven, so 182.5, 182.5. Same with this one, 182.5, 381. And we're gonna make this thing 70 in the air, so it's, oops, come on, 70 in the air. All right, deselect, please. Now, there's those. There on this. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on it to select it, click on that to select it, and uh, there we go. They look pretty well centered, but I'm going to double check this math. Okay. Yep, looks fine. Plenty centered. And one more thing I want to check. That box is 104. This runner is 106.5. I think this runner needs to come up some. I think all the runners need to come up some. So you can see that one's like two and a half millimeters over and this one's way more. So what we're going to do is we're gonna figure out where the center of the box is. 104, so 204. So now we wanna come. All of that and all of these. Okay, there, there. Yeah, I like that. That'll work. And if we can, you know, rotate this just right. 
Yeah, that's pretty good. All right. Mm. So that's almost everything. Let's put some uh, um, bungs for the. Uh, so we'll make these 14 millimeter. This will be. Uh, I'll be able to tap these for NPT. 70. All right. Now we just put them centered between the runners by eye. I'm not doing any more math. My brain is done. Fun times. Okay. Can I grab you now? There you go. That looks about centered. I'm going to go Control C. Command C. Anyways. It's one millimeters tall. Oops. No. 70. 70 millimeters. There we go. Just move it to the other side. Just spin it around and center it by eye. Now we want to select everything. So draw a box around it all. It's all selected. See here we've got shapes. Oops, wait, before we do this, let's make sure I made these properly. Oh. That one. Yeah, that's not good enough side. 64. Always remember to make your circles round. 64. These okay? Yeah, okay. So now we're going to control A, select everything. Now, this is the combined, group them all together. That's where it takes your hollows and puts them in. So there we go. You can see our tubes are now hollow tubes rather than just cylinders inside and you can see where the runners come in and intersect the chamber it looks great these are nice smooth surfaces i mean you get higher up and you got more of a wall here but i can't round that off with this software to save my life so i'm not even going to worry about it so yeah and then these would be vacuum back vacuum ports and uh on my final design i actually put them put some also here and here in case i need them there but uh, yeah, that's it. And then you click the export button, it goes STL, and you download it, and it's an STL file for your 3D printer. Thanks for watching. Uh, hope this made enough sense to you. Like and subscribe.